Midway through NBAA 2022, we have been watching this industry start paying attention to what's next. And what's not, not necessarily what's next, but what's really next. Yeah. This industry is rushing toward a future that is, at this point, not fully realized, not fully encapsulated, and more important than anything else, disruptive as all get out. Yeah. And apparently, you guys are going to be leading part of the charge. Tell me what's happening right now with your program. So, thank you for that. Um, Magnix, exciting times for us. Um, we just recently flew the Aviation Alice with two of our motors, which uh, a huge accomplishment from a clean sheet design aircraft. Very exciting times. We also just recently flew a Tier 1 Robinson 44 helicopter. Along with the E-Caravan and the E-Beaver with Harbour Air in Canada, we now have four of our products actively flying in the marketplace, which is an exciting. It also shows the diversity of how our product can be applied to different applications in rotary, clean sheet design and retrofit. We're also now looking to the future with NASA, with a project we're working with them on a Dash 7 to put one of our motors on that. They awarded us a $75 million contract last year, going up against some of the big names in the industry, but recognizing that Magniex is leading the industry in the electrification of aviation. And then we're also working with Universal Hydrogen on a Dash 8, where we're going to be working with one of our motors and a, combustion, a regular combustion engine to fly that airplane hopefully before the end of the year. And then the other thing is the evolving technology of new products, new aircraft that are developing in the industry. We're working actively with those now. So, you know, we look at the, the evolution of like the E-Beaver, small aircraft, you know, low passengers, then we start looking at the Aviation Alice, which is nine passengers. And then obviously we want to look to the future where we start to see the larger, the 30 passenger, 50 passenger, 70 passenger type aircraft. We're also looking at the development of not just the EPU, but the storage system that provides the power to that, be it batteries or be it hydrogen fuel cells. We're actively engaging in those areas now so that we can provide our client base the full solution, be it full electric, be it hybrid or hydrogen fuel cells. Where do you see the most promise right now for the immediate future? Where do you think the long-term future is going to resolve what you're doing here? So I think the long-term future, I mean, obviously batteries, hydrogen fuel cells and the hybrid solution um, are relatively short term but they all come with their own challenges. Um, battery density is certainly a challenge for us today. We do see significant innovation in that marketplace where we'll start to see a great improvement in payload range capability as battery density improves. Hydrogen fuel cells I think is still in the in the development stage but there's a lot of activity in that area which is why we want to be closely attached to that. The hybrid solution, somewhat like the, uh, the automobile, so, you know, gives you, it gives you the opportunity to go further with more people, but it doesn't really give you the full sustainability and, and zero emissions, but it's a path. Um, so we are actively looking into how that helps us get the product into service while giving the performance the customer requires until we see improved uh, performance in batteries and hydrogen fuel cells. How do you build a company that can accomplish the goals that you've set for yourself? In the long run, you've got to find some really smart folks for this. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I wish I could say that that was easy. It's not. We're very fortunate now to be just around 100 people, incredibly talented folk from literally all around the world. We have a very dedicated owner behind us who installs a great culture within our organization. We believe that Leading the industry will attract the right people. We're flying, we're achieving things, and that attracts quality. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a challenging market. Um, it's evolving market. Uh, we look for people to maybe make a transition from what they've been used to doing in the conventional world and come over to this side because this is the future.